Welcome back guys, the latest builds of OptiScaler mod come with a built-in performance overlay. In this video, I'll be using Preview 93 build of OptiScaler in Evil West to enable FSR frame generation. We'll also show you how to enable the mod's built-in performance overlay. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of Evil West. In this game, we play as a vampire hunter named Jesse. He's equipped with several powerful firearms including a six-shot revolver, a lever action rifle and a flamethrower. He also has access to various melee attacks through a specialized gauntlet capable of accumulating electrical energy. Jesse can perform some WWE style moves like Roman Reigns Superman Punch. The enemies can be stunned and staggered following a melee attack allowing players to execute them using a special finisher move. The campaign can be played cooperatively with another player but I'll be playing it in solo mode. I'll provide the direct download link for preview 93 build of OptiScaler in the description of the video or you can download it from OptiScaler's discord server show you how to install the mod just extract its contents open the archive file select all of the files and folders present inside this archive file copy go back paste extraction process complete just change the name of nvngx.tll file to dxgi.tll rename Now just copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Just open Xbox Windows app. Go to your library. Select Evil West. Click on the three dots here. Click on Manage. Click on Files. Click on Browse. Game size is around 40 GB. Open the games install folder. There it is, Evil West Windows. Open Content folder. Open High Moon folder. Open Binaries folder. Win GDK folder. There is the game's exe file. Paste the mod files here. Now open the game's install folder again. Open Content folder. Open Engine folder. Open Plugins folder. Runtime, NVIDIA, DLSS, Pioneries, Third Party, Win64, copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS, paste it in the same directory where you pasted the mod files, backtracking, High Moon, Pioneries, WinGTK, right here, change the name of this file to nvngx.tll. That's it. FSR version 3.1.3 supports hybrid spin lock feature that can help in reducing the CPU load. I'll show you how to enable it. Just open nvngx.ini file. Scroll down until you find hybrid spin setting. There it is. It's set to auto by default. False. Just set it to true. Click on file. Click on save. That's it. We are ready to run the game. For this game, I set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My line is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's GPU driver, Adrenaline Edition version 24.12.1. Using a 30 watts manual profile, all three power values are at 30 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. I have connected my 8 bit to Ultimate 2C controller to Ally via 2.4 GHz wireless mode. Game's profile did not pop up automatically in Adrenaline software as it's the PC Game Pass version of the game. No access to internal lens settings. We are in. I am using internal lens overlay to show you the performance metrics. In game settings, display mode set to full screen, resolution 900p, vSync off, no FPS gap applied. Settings set to high, view distance far, motion blur off, DLSS enabled, this means the mod is working using the upscalers quality preset sharpness lens set to 30. That's it. Open OctiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. From this drop down bar, you can select the upscaler. I am using XCSS version 1.3.1. Frame generation disabled for the time being. I will increase the size of the mod menu. Just click on the drop down bar here. Next to UI scale. 1.0 is selected by default. I will select 1.3. Yeah, size increase, 
Now I'll show you how to enable the mods built in performance overlay. Check this option FPS overlay enable under FPS overlay section. There's the overlay API DX12 FPS 60. It's frame time 16.6 milliseconds. There's the graph for the frame time. We can change the position by clicking on this drop down bar next to overlay position top left right bottom left bottom right it's up to you i'll stick with top left overlay type simple detail frame time is also shown yeah, i'll increase its size small in size 1.5 much better detail plus graph frame pacing graph full upscaler time frame pacing graph for it is also available full plus graph there you go you can even select a horizontal style overlay need to check this option horizontal steam deck style overlay it's up to you i'll stick with the normal overlay layout there is a character yeah, here fps is around 55 good performance even without frame generation hitting the gp bottleneck v time usage is around 4.1 gb fps value 58 same value shown in adrenaline overlay the cutscene take out these guys combat time fifty to sixty FPS even during combat I'll just enable Opti Scaler now shoot the weak spots do more damage oh no enemies here Frame generation on, haven't enabled hotfix yet, so the interface will flicker. You get the added amount of smoothness. Frame generation is working properly. The smoothing effect. Yeah, FPS increased to around 90. This is amazing. Heart flickering. I'll just show you the debug view. No display for the bottom right image. Let's enable hotfix setting. Set limit value to 1. FG extended setting disable. The display is working properly for the bottom right image. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom, middle and right images. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image. So the hard elements won't flicker. When we enable optiscular frame generation. Just disable debug view, play the game. Smoothing effect is still working properly. Hard elements are not flickering. Very smooth experience on raw LR. All hell is going to break loose. Shot that guy. Reload. This is my melee attack. See, <laughs> this is TNT. Oh no, to reload. Shot the TNT. It exploded. Eighty to ninety FPS even during combat, intense combat. Excellent experience on raw LR. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.